Welcome to the Access Web Express YouTube channel. We appreciate you stopping by. Today's video is Hole Making Made Easy Part 1. Um, as always, if you, uh, if you like what you see here, please subscribe. And today we're going to talk about drilling holes, pretty much something that everybody has to do. Drilling, reaming, tapping, in one way, shape, or form or another, we all have to put holes into our jobs. And we're going to try to make that as easy as we can. So as what I have on my screen right now is just a solid model. I don't have any wireframe or anything. It's just a, a solid model. And that solid model has 218 holes in it. In all actuality, we only have three holes. I've got a group of that style hole. I've got a group of that style hole. And I've got a group of that style hole. So really all I have to do is program three holes. Well, how can I do that? I've already got my machine set up. I'm going to go in to my toolpath and select drill. And I get my toolpath hole definition dialog. As I can now select a solid face to represent the cylinder that I'm drilling, reaming, counterboring, whatever the process may be. And when I get close to that solid face, you can see the icon on my mouse changes to a sheet of paper or a solid face. And a cylinder is just that. It's essentially a solid face that's been wrapped around and is now circular. And if I click on that solid face, that particular cylinder gets selected. An arrow appears. That arrow does not matter in a three-axis format. Your tooling plane will determine the direction in which you drill. But in a five-axis format, that arrow makes all the difference in the world. So you notice over here it says solid feature and 0 0.6309 diameter. I still only selected one of those. I obviously have more than one, and I could go and select them all, but that would take quite some time. It would be hardly efficient. So I'm going to say delete all. And I'm going to do that same functionality, except this time I'm going to hold the control key down on the keyboard. And instead of just selecting one of those holes, it selects all 204. The pattern in which it's going to drill these holes doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, but I can make it make sense by selecting a sort pattern. And in this particular case, I'm going to zigzag. So it'll start down here in the corner, work its way around until I'm all done. We'll go ahead and hit that green check mark. 204 of those holes were selected. Well, I'm going to need to spot drill those. So I'm going to select my three quarter inch spot drill. Green check mark that. And in my linking parameters, there's, there's a few tabs I need to select here calculate incremental values from holes and lines, and calculate depth from top of hole and line. I'm going to use my uh, spot drill to chamfer the top of these holes. I'm going to get the diameter from the geometry. And I'm going to say plus 50 thousandths. That'll give me a 25 thousand chamfer per side. I'm going to green check mark that, and there we go. 204 holes spot drilled. So we'll talk about drilling these holes. It's the same tool path. This time, instead of selecting the counterboard diameter, I'm going to select the hole itself. Control, select that hole, and they all get selected. Once again, select something that makes more sense. As far as a pattern, I'm going to green check mark that. Go gra grab a drill. There's all my drills. Let's grab the uh, 13 30 second jobber drill. We're going to drill counter bore. And in my linking parameters, again, I am going to calculate values from holes and lines, but I'm not going to calculate the depth 
from the top of the line. Remember, it's a cylinder. And because it's a cylinder, Mastercam has selected the entire face so it knows where the top and the bottom live. Because of that, I can tell it to drill to a depth of an incremental zero, which will drill to the bottom of that cylinder. In this case, my top that I want it to start is the top of this block, which is an absolute zero. My clearance is still correct. My retract, I'm going to use an absolute. And I'm going to use the clearance only at the start and the end of the operation. We'll open up my tip comp and we'll go an extra 50,000 steep. Green check mark. And just like that, I've drilled all those holes, went through the block. Pretty efficient way to drill some holes. We can make it even more efficient. I'm going to go ahead and select those and delete them. I would assume that if I'm doing a counter bore such as this, I probably do that more than once. This is a 12 millimeter um, reamed hole. I probably do that more than once. These smaller counterboard holes that actually have a tap down at the bottom, I do more than once. That being the case, all the parameters, the tools I'm using, the speeds and feeds are always going to be the same. So what I did was is I created an operation library for those. An operation library consists of several tool paths that will create these solid entities. So for the case of these holes out here, and I'm going to show you how to get to those operation libraries. I just right clicked in the uh, toolpath operation manager and I'm going to select import. I'm going to navigate to the source library. In this case, it's called holes 101. And I have three operations set up in there. One of them is an M12 by 175 with a uh, 16 millimeter counter bore. I'm going to select that one. There are the four tool paths necessary to create that feature. We'll go ahead and select them, import them in. It just told me I did it successfully. I'm going to say thank you and hit the red X to close that. So my drill counter bore here is the spot drill. So I'm going to go into the parameters. I'm going to select the geometry, control click. Selects those. Notice the sorting is already done. It's because when I created this operation library, the sorting was already set. Green check mark that. I, need, I can green check mark my parameters box here because I know the tool is already selected with the proper speeds and feeds. My linking parameters are already set. Green check mark and recalculate, and those paths are done. Tool path number two is the drill that's going to drill the diameter of the hole through the helical bore is going to do the counter bore the helical bore will use the same geometry i'm just going to drag and drop this geometry down to tool path number three select that tool path and recalculate the counter bore is done tool path number two i do need to select that geometry so i'm going to go into the parameters select point geometry make sure that my mouth mouse shows the uh, face icon control select again the sort is already done green check mark green check mark and i'm going to drag and drop that geometry down to tool path number four we're going to go ahead and recalculate both those tool paths and just like that I've done 204 holes. And as easy as that was, in part two, I'm going to show you how in the upcoming version of Mastercam 2022, it's been made even easier. Thank you for stopping by and have a great day.
Thank you.